Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how easy it is to put on Jamboree wraps. Um, sorry for the awkward angle of the camera, but this is probably the best way to get uh, a good clear view of what I'm doing. Um, I've already washed my nail with dish soap to remove all the oils, um, and then I'll show you what to do. First you want to um, push back your cuticles. Um, if you have any what they call invisible cuticles, um, you don't want the nail wrap to stick to that because it might cause lifting later on. So first you'll push back your cuticle. And then, you, if you have a buffer, uh, you can give it a light buff. It's not necessary, but it helps the wrap adhere a little bit better. Um, and then before you apply the wrap, um, you'll want to either use um, uh, an alcohol prep wipe, which comes in like a first aid kit. Um, you can buy isopropanol. Um, from uh, any chemist um, or off Amazon um, and this just helps make sure it's nice and clean so you don't get anything trapped underneath the wrap. Um, you need to cut your wrap in half which I've already done. I'm going to place this. This is grapefruit. I'm also wearing quilted on my other nail uh, and you want to peel it off of the backing. Um, I like to use tweezers um, you don't want to touch the back of the wrap uh, with your fingers because you don't want to get oil on it. So I like to use what they call the cold application method. So I'm just going to adjust my grip here. Sorry, guys. Uh, and I like to place it on my finger, my nail, um, while it's still cold, but just gently. So it's just sort of laying on there, and then I heat it up. I find it easier to place on my nail that way, because um, it gets a bit more flimsy when it's warm. So then, I've got my Jamboree heater, which is nice and quiet, but you can also use a hair dryer or um, flat irons. And you just want to heat up the um, wrap until it just starts to curl slightly, you can kind of see, and just a few seconds. And you want to smooth it from base to tip. You can use your thumb and then outwards, or you can use a cuticle pusher, which is a good way to make sure you get a nice good seal on the outsides. Smooth away the wrinkles. If you have any bumps or wrinkles, you can give it a little bit of a tug. Sometimes that pulls them out. And then you can reheat, make sure this seal's good. Uh, smooth out, lots of pressure, heat and pressure your friends. And then you've got the excess hanging off of the wrap like that. See, see my finger? And then what you want to do is take a nail file, I'll turn that sheet off. Take a nail file, or you can clip it um, with um, nail clippers and take a bit of your nail off, but then nail file is the easiest way I find. And just run the nail in one direction. You can either push your nail upwards or pull the file downwards. But you don't want to go side to side because that might cause the wrap to lift. And it's starting to come off. Should we pull it off? Just gently. And then just pull off the excess and it's done. And it's completely dry, ready to go. You can go uh, do whatever you need to do um, straight away. Uh, no issues on my polish. So that's great. And that's it. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. There's lots of different ways to apply the nails to, and different tricks for curvy nails or, um, or if you've got particularly oily nails or anything else. So let me know if you have any questions and I um, hope you enjoy it. Thank you.